you can't be unlucky with the girls. I was always unlucky with the girls. Every time I took home a girl when I was a younger man, my mother found some fault or had some complaint to make about her. You'll hate a blonde, they're dizzy. You'll hate a blackhead, they're dull. You'll hate a redhead, they're fiery. Then I was in the bar one night and I saw this girl and she looked exactly like my mother. I said to myself, this is it, I'm right here. <laughs> well, I took her home and my father hated her. <laughs> Not easy. My wife's not a very clever woman, you know. She crashed the car last Friday night. She ran into a tree. She says, it wasn't my fault. I blew the horn. <laughs> Two weeks ago, she killed a deer and he was in the zoo. Friday night she came home without the car. I says, where's the car? She says, there's water in the carburetor. I says, Who do you, how do you know that? She says, it's at the bottom of the river, Liffey. <laughs> you know, when she got pregnant for the second time, she thought we had to get married again. <laughs> A lot of the trouble in my marriage was caused by her mother. Mother-in-law. My wife says to me two weeks ago, she says, can my mother come down for the weekend? I says, why? She says, she's sick of the attic. <laughs> but the minute that woman knocks on my door, I know it's her. The canary stops singing. And the mice throw themselves on the traps. <laughs> the cockroaches hang themselves. <laughs> this is an ugly woman I'm talking about. She had a face in her now like a bulldog chewing a wasp. <laughs> She's the only woman I know could eat a Big Mac through a Venetian blind. <laughs> her husband died a younger man. It's not as much as he died as he gave up on her. And I was in his room three minutes before he actually passed away. The pallor of death had set upon him. He's gone all yellow and he's beginning to drool and dribble and slobber a little bit. I think he says it twice. Doesn't he get a fancy in his unfortunate head for a piece of apple pie he could spy from his deathbed through to the kitchen? And herself is out there guarding it. The mother-in-law. King Kong in pantyhose. <laughs> well, this sick man, he musters up the last breath he had in his dying frame. I think these were the last words he spoke, madam. I, he just said, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'd hate to die in your house, madam. <laughs> He says, could I have a piece of apple pie, please? The mother-in-law says, you cannot. She says, that's for your funeral. <laughs> but I live in fear of my life of that woman. I don't mind. I live in fear of my life of her. I tell you. If she, this is true. If she's ever staying at my house and I come home with drink on me and I know that she's in there. Are you with me now? Are you with me? Yeah. 
Well, you go in first, I'm afraid. <laughs> And if I know she's in there, I always take my clothes off downstairs and I walk up the stairs backwards. So if she finds me, I say I'm going down for a drink of water. <laughs> now, I was very drunk last Tuesday night, I will admit to that, very drunk. Took the clothes off downstairs, ran up the stairs. I was on a bus. <laughs> Two, two nuns go to a football game here in Dublin at Crow Park and we're quite enjoying the match but there's two punk rockers behind them giving them a hard time and one punk rocker says he says I wish I could go to England he says there's only 15% Catholics there and the other punk rocker says he says I wish I could go to Belfast he says there's only 5% Catholics there and one of the nuns turned around and said well I wish you could go to hell he says there's no Catholics there <laughs> <laughs> husband and wife touring Ireland by car and they pull up at the gas station to get some gas in and the fella filling the gas said to him he said would you like me to clean the windshield the wife says what did he say <laughs> he wants to know do I want him to clean the windshield he said would you like me to dip the car for oil the wife says what did he say <laughs> he wants to know do I want him to dip the car for oil he said would you like me to put some air on the tyre the wife says what did he say he wants to know that I want him to put some air in the tyre. So the guy doing all the work said to the fellow, he says, by the way, where do you come from? And the man says, he says, I come from the county Cork. Oh, God, he says, that brings me back to county Cork. He says, 45 years ago, he says, I had the worst love affair ever in my life in the county Cork. The wife says, what did he say? <laughs> the husband says, he thinks he knows you. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.